loves welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video hope you have watched the last video so you can better understand this video so presently me and solange are on our way to dibuncha for another adventure at this point we're smiling we had no idea what was in store for us before that just look at this beauty i decided to just insert this clip of how god is so good look at the skies it was so so beautiful then we got to our location the buncha okay so we just took this strange road we didn't even know we we're going to <laughs> and we landed at their beach so their beach we made a boat there that was just from fishing it was at the shore people were coming in short there are guys in the village there that that is what they do right so that is the boat i'm talking about the beach is a normal basic beach <laughs> nothing much happening except fishing people carrying bowls to the boat that just came back from fishing and transporting the fish to the destination to their fish market because that was the signboard we saw their fish market signboard that led us to this place so these guys you see carrying fish from the boat inside bowls to their fish market that is the normal way it's been done so we met a couple of people that we know here and they came to buy fish so it's like a renowned fish market from Idenau because the people we met there came from Idenau to buy fish so they branched here to get more fish so this is like a large fish market unfortunately we do not get footage for where these guys are transporting the fish to for you guys to see but this is just the activity that happens at the shore you see the guy in the boat he's the one who removes the fish from inside puts them into the bowls and the other guys carry it on their heads to the fish market so we then met this man who was going about his normal business activity and we decided to ask him how we can get to the lake because that was our main destination and he was just telling us the various modes of transport to get to the lake what you're supposed to do before going there at the time you're supposed to go there if it's late or it's not late and we learned from him that you could go with a boat a boat could actually take you there and leave you at the point of the stairs where you start climbing you're going to see that shortly the point of the stairs or you could decide to go through land and family members do you know what the option baby girls chose just wait and see tada we chose the land and the roads if if i'm being honest if i'm to compare it with all the other touristy sites i've been to this road is one of the smoothest i mean it does not have all the stones the dust or whatever that the other roads have it's quite smooth and moderate for an earthly road but you know how they say the small stone brought down the giants that was the case for us we had an accident on this road <laughs> and we're smiling here and all ginger look how, look how tight we were even on this bike how we not have an accident family members we had no idea what was in store for us here we're still smiling and then tragedy struck <laughs> we had an accident family members like i don't know i escaped I've, i'm an experienced bike hopper so i know how to escape from bike accidents so lunch was the one who had a little bit of injury and we bought power mouth and it got burst and these guys were drinking it i'm like my money my money my money you have carried us and were falling down with accident and you guys are still drinking my power mouth <laughs> but what could we do anyways thank god it was not that serious we then hopped back into the bike die-hearted visitors like us tourists like us see solange face she could not even smile <laughs> it is the switch for me the way solange came out from that mode to when she wanted to do her snapchat video it was so funny i laughed out i wish you guys could see it like i had an accident in Duala. i had a serious bike accident in Duala. yes Yeah, food and hot again. Now you do Snapchat. Eh eh. Ha. Man, who slides for you so? 
so up there that is where the bike actually dropped us then we had to descend this small whatsoever here before climbing the stairs and if you took a boat this is the same place where the boats will leave you just by these stairs here before you start climbing and family members mind you were not recovered from the waterfall side so this test this adventure this journey was something that i don't know <laughs> this test was an unending stairs family members ha the stairs i wish i could give you guys the actual number of stairs because it was so long so so long i mean we climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed at one point we almost gave up and like let's just go back back <laughs> so we finally finished the stairs and the guys opted for us to rest before we continue and Solange was like is this still far inside they said no you just passed like this and that is all you have just reached the lake that was how strongest Solange said let's just continue and family members this was when the adventure actually started we started now entering the real forest i don't even know what to tell you guys about this forest what to consider and what not to consider before entering there but just know that Solange as usual started hearing sounds of animals and then she's like carol is that not the sound of a wild animal i just heard i'm like solange <laughs> we're in a forest what do you expect normally obviously there are animals inside here so we just have to be careful wait a sound for, for like wild animal it's like monkey <laughs> Please, when coming here, make sure you dress properly. Wear shoes, wear socks, wear trousers, and wear long sleeves if possible. Because the kind of grass you have in here is what we locally call in my country chuku chuku grass. <laughs> I do not know the scientific name of that grass, but Solange said I should tell you guys that it is a species of grass that has little, little thorns all over it. <laughs> that is Solange's own English translated version of chuku chuku grass. But however, I hope you get the picture. The grass creeps and, and it also climbs. So you want to make sure you're properly dressed. If not so, you're going to have bruises all over your body. Because it's going to wound your hands and your face as well. So make sure you take that into consideration if you're thinking of coming here. And like every other place we went to, it is slippery. The stones here are so slippery. That is how stronger, stronger could no longer be stronger. This time around, I was the one who fell. Now, if you know you and climbing rocks are not friends, please just stay in your house and watch this video quietly. Because this place, you will climb and climb until you can no longer climb. You will climb, as in, you must climb. The monkey! What? You! Ah, you be monkey or you climb? Ah. So, different know the way you need climbing. Again, who sent us? At this point, we were so exhausted. We had climbed and climbed and climbed, and we still could not find any water. And I'm like, what is happening here? Then I just understood that every forest has its own vibe the vibe of this particular forest is climbing so if you know that you love climbing then i'm sure you are going to find this place very interesting but if you know you are like some of us who do not like any form of stress but find ourselves in such situations then this climbing is just going to irritate you because the level of climbing in this place every small place is climbing <laughs> then this is the last climbing before you finally get to see the lake this part eh i don't even know what to say it is a rope you're climbing using a rope a rope and they're pulling you i'm like people's generations 
you are pulling a generation with a single rope that we are not sure if it can cut or it cannot cut. <laughs> when I was watching Solange climbing, I was like, okay, oh. Somebody beat me on it. What am I telling from up here, sir? I'll be waiting. Just come and load you. Hold the rope strong, oh. Any high you do, hold the rope strong. I don't hold the rope strong. Yes, well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine now. Go on. Courage, courage. I don't want to drop power because I don't want to fall for that move, Matty. Oh, yeah, give me the force and I'll let that move. Go. 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 Mm -hmm. Go. Good job. Mom, mommy. Jesus Christ. I'll let Jackie share with you. I'm ready. Finally. My goodness. I'm ready to talk about this. See where I came from. The view of this lake from up here is so soothing. I mean, it's calm, it's airy, it's peaceful. I feel like this lake produces some sort of energy towards you because the moment you see it, you forget about all the stress you went through before getting here. I mean, the vibe that this lake gives you, oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. And before we reached here, I mean, immediately we reached here, even before we could start filming, the guys went down and did some traditional rites before you start filming. So you don't just get to see the lake and start filming they had to perform some traditional rites down down like towards very close to the lake before we could start filming the lake and they kept telling us stories about this lake how one white came here and he got drowned because he wanted to enter the water he was stubborn he did not follow the instructions when you get there please make sure you follow instructions ah yes, he's always popping on the on oh, this my camera, no, 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 no. Skin like milk. i will not. <laughs> Every time we reach our destination, we are popping. Pop, pop. We drip. Come to the lake is big. Oh. Very big. Very, very big. I never experienced it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, if you strong, get though. How you don't smile past me? Ha! I beg go. There is no price for okay. sofa. I don't be there for that kind of sofa. Smart woman. Wow, smart woman. Very, very smart. Smart man, lazy girl, one can now. Lazy girl, one drop coat. For all four way four for bike. For all four way four for bike. I tell you. Why am I missing? No. Why is it? Where to go out? Outlet. We don't know outlet. See, somebody's chair is sweaty. See, your hand. See. We don't tie this up for. Who are stuck here? Are confused, they are confused on the way out. Like, now don't see, I've, I've stayed around this forest for like I hope so that the last time this. Finally, we then got to see the sea where we came from, and we were just so happy that finally we went in and came out in one piece. It was really evening, the sun was really setting. But before we left, we decided to take our name 
on the sun <laughs> so i decided to write my channel name on the sun as in i came i saw i conquered and i left in one piece that was why i decided to write my name here and i'm like finally finally <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till this point. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Hit the like button. Turn on post notification. I'm going to see you on my next one. Bye!